Well guys, here we are at Synology HQ. We're gonna get your questions answered by the guys at the top. I hope you're looking forward to it. We traveled all this way. Let's get some of those questions answered, shall we? Hi guys, well, here we are at Synology HQ here in Taipei. We're gonna be answering some of your most popular questions with the head honchos here at Synology. Everyone's names are on the screen right now. So do you know what? Let's get straight into it. Um, I have loads of questions for lots of people on YouTube, on NAS Compares, on Span and more. And I've summarized it down to the most popular, most frequent questions that people have got about your products, your software, the wonderful DSM software. So let's cut straight on with that. DSM 7, um, is there any word on a beta arriving soon on that? Yeah, DSM 7 beta will be coming out uh, between Q4 this year till Q1 next year. And uh, we have reposition at DSM 7.0. That's why it took a little bit extra time during the development. Mm. We are going to bring more hybrid cloud uh, integrated features into the DSM-7 and it will come out really strong at the end of this year. Mm. I was gonna say, from what I saw a bit a very, very late last year, it was really a huge leap forward. Yes. And I can see lots of the individual applications have yes. been all those vast improvements brought in. Yes. So it's gonna be exciting to see that. I mean, yes. and then that leads me on to some of my other questions. Um, next question, the DS619 um, Slim. Yes. That's gone very, very quiet, and a lot of people were quite excited about getting that lovely yes. six bay device there. Yeah, yeah. And I think it had, um, there was, um, I think, confusion on my side anyway with regard to the CPU, whether it was the dual core J33 or that 34. Yeah. So, will we be seeing uh, that lovely little six bay? Personally, soon? I'm very excited about this mm. product as well. So, the product will soon be available Perfect. in coming July. So it will become generally available in globally in July timeframe. We're first launching the first launch in the Taiwan first, and then global launch at the end of July. And I'm very excited about this model mm. because it will be the first six base models with the steam chassis. A palm side, very cute to design. Yeah, it is. When I first saw it, it was adorable, which I know isn't the right word to describe <laughs> technology, but it is. Um, it is. I, I, I thought it's a very, it's a lovely design. It's exactly the same as 1618, but wonderfully scaled down. Yeah, and, exactly. And with two and a half inch SATA drives, now at five terabytes. Yeah, so it's a could, huge amount. Yeah, huge. And you, you can configure different rec, uh, flexibilities. Mm. You can build a, a, a Red 5, two of the Red 5, or you can build up the uh, Red 6 Plus, two of the SSD uh, as a yeah. cache. Yeah, different Red configurations. And mm. also, uh, in the past, the Slim uh, Im uh, image gives a consumer like, uh, uh, it's only uh, entry-level consumer products. Yeah. But on the DS620 Slim, you will be become a very powerful solution. Mm. It's Intel based and can support snapshot technology. So uh, can provide instant snapshot and uh, supporting the BTRFS file systems. So and yeah, look will, for- Will it support a lot of the functionality that some of its bigger brothers have, like um, Active Backup Suite? Yes. And uh, Surveillance Station up to maybe 40 cameras, that sort of thing, all of those, yeah. they're all running on it, that's perfect. All the, uh, the features supporting uh, with the Intel x86 architectures will be supported on these models. So it's very suitable for customers in the condos or apartments mm. um, with limited physical spaces. They can utilize these models. Uh, and uh, um, presumably also the energy and power, like the power consumption heat, that yes. sort of thing is gonna be ah, fantastic. Okay, on to the next question. Okay. Um, um, and also, just real quickly, I just skipped that entirely. The DS619 um, is of course gonna be known as the DS620 Slim. Yes. It's gonna name change there, so I'll, you know, that's my error, not theirs. Um, yes. And the NVMe support on the M2D18, that cash card. Yes, yes. There was mention before about some users purchased it, mm -hmm. and they're wondering about the NVMe support on some of the larger devices. Yeah. On a number of product pages, it mentions that um, NVMe SATA will be available in the next DSM update. Yes. And um, will um, support for NVMe me on those devices be rolled out yeah, uh, yeah. before DSM-7? Will it still be included in DSM-7? Okay, this is a very good question. So this is a, uh, also a very frequently asked questions from my side. So mm. um, by responding to our users, um, in DS7.0, uh, DSM-7.0 will upgrade the, the kernel on the Intel Broadwell D platforms. So on that models, we were able to support the NVMe uh, with the N2T18 uh, adapter card. Perfect, but not not before then, in the D, DS 7.0 yes. update. Okay, yes. perfect. Um, one of the questions, I think I already know the answer to this one, uh, when I was looking at your stands downstairs, but just for the okay. viewers at home. Um, the DVA3219, 
Um, I mentioned about um, an HDMI output as well as this station manager. Um, now I can see the unit downstairs doesn't have an HDMI out, yeah. um, so it won't be a standalone like the NVR series, um, mm. which had that Q uh, K K KVM support and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and I know it supports up to eight channels, I think we were talking about earlier. Um, but will it boot directly into surveillance station, um, or will it have an optional uh, DSM and then you can choose to go into surveillance station on okay. the GUI. So this model is more like a combination of a traditional NAS uh, with additional support on the uh, 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 the graphic card or mm. the NVIDIA GTX 1050 mm. Ti. So uh, you can operate as a traditional NAS. You can Perfect. support all those like backup and file server applications. But at the same time, you have the surveillance station supported which can support uh, focus on the uh, deep uh, motion detections and, and people counting. Yeah, we and saw that some of the stuff downstairs is yeah. really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Things have changed a lot. Yes. Yeah, it's fantastic stuff. So the brilliant thing is that uh, we can also reduce a lot of the distractions, including the rain, snow, um, or the uh, water reflections, mm. and to increase the, the accuracy of the surveillance products. Mm. So um, it will be the products, uh, as I mentioned, that will be operated as a traditional NAS. All the features you have on the Intel-based uh, um, platform, you can support it. That would be a fantastically popular answer. Yes. And yes. I think that may have just done a lot of good stuff. And one oh, more thing good. is that uh, uh, although it don't have the HDMI port, it does have the COM port that can connect to oh, the core. Uh, exi yes, existing subsystems. Yeah. Yes. Um, and will, sorry, just on a side note there, will the GPU be accessible Mm -hmm. to non-surveillance activities such as virtualization or yeah. is that something possibly for later or yeah currently it's only focus will be restricted only for the surveillance station only yes. okay um next question uh, go read my notes off camera there do you know what? i might keep this in um are there any plans on a follow-up to the 12 bay the frank i mean from my side at least yeah. one of the best nazis you've ever produced the oh, DS three six one seven XS. If I had a pound for every time someone's asked about this three six one seven XS, I could get a real job and not be on YouTube. <laughs> um, but people have asked about a follow up to this device mm -hmm. a lot because it's it covers all bases. Everything that yeah. Synology provides and promises in DSM, this can do in a desktop form, of course. And a lot of people they can't accommodate a rack station for reasons of noise. So yeah. that's one of the for me one of the key reasons of its popularity. Because yes. whatever the reason you need a NAS for, mm -hmm. this is the best of the best of the best in your station mm -hmm. yeah. uh, series. So is there any plans going forward for mm -hmm. a follow up to that in the near future? So in responding to these questions, uh, we're continually uh, to monitor this uh, product's uh, successor. Mm. We are looking for a suitable candidate of the SOC for the uh, CPU yeah. that can uh, uh, meet a customer's requirements on this kind of model. Mm. We noticed that lots of the SME, the small, medium-sized enterprises, um, love these models, and uh, it's always uh, uh, one of the best-selling these stations um, with higher capacity. Mm. And uh, right now, I would say that there is no specific plan in the short term, but we are continuously looking for a suitable candidate, but uh, once it's ready, we'll launch this market. So, I mean, next up, the uh, following solutions that are going to release later in the year. I know you might have plans for Synology 2020 or something towards the end of the year, yeah. but is there any plans for more NVMe SSD supporting devices, more PCIe mm -hmm. slots, stuff like that? Is there going to be more evolution in that? Yeah. It seems to be, it's a, definitely a growing trend, I think, for 10GBE. Yes. Um, actually, we're going to announce more new information at the upcoming Synology mm. 2020. But um, as you're coming mm. right now in the computer X, I will share with you uh, some of the information. Uh, for future models, as SSD become more cheaper, um, uh, lots of the uh, users would like to do an upgrade as mm. an easy upgrade of the uh, performance enhancement. So for future models, I would say that uh, at least for the Plus series and above, uh, we will have more models supporting the building M.2 SSD as a SSD cache to boost up, an easy way to boost up the performance. Of course. Yes, so I this is the current plan. And as for the 10 gig uh, PCIe, uh, we'll have, uh, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to the building the 10 gig based T solutions. Mm. 
and uh, um, for those users they would like to have higher uh, networking bandwidth they can mm, choose SAP, our yeah, SAP Plus uh, uh, network adapter cards. Mm. Yes. Oh no, it's just great just to see that evolution. It's great to hear we're going to see more M2 SSD cache slots because yes. as much as people love SSD cache, particularly in some of those uh, virtualization areas, yes. it's always a shame to give up some of those bays, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, do Synology have any plans in the near future to start looking at 2.5 GBE, mm -hmm. that sort of connectivity? Because yeah. we're seeing more and more of these adapters and uh, network processor from companies like Aquantia. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. is there any plans to, for Synology to adopt that in the near future? Yeah, um, uh, I would say that at this moment, mm -hmm. we keep continuously to monitor this market. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only the NAS need to be uh, ready for this part, but the, the whole ecosystem, mm. including the network uh, switch and those routers mm. need to be ready. So right now for us, for Synology, I think it's just uh, uh, we are choosing the right timing to launch this kind of product. We are, when the ecosystem is ready, we'll have the corresponding products. Make, it makes sense. It's still quite adolescent as a connection. I think there are yeah. hopes for it, but it's that idea of are people just going to skip it yes, when they yes, skipped yeah. 1.5 terabyte drives and yeah. stuff like that. There are some benchmarks, some there's just no point investing in. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there any plans in the near future mm -hmm. for a 10 gigabit version mm -hmm. or at least a 10 GBE supported version yeah. of your router system? Because yeah. again, your routers, I would say, have done remarkably well, particularly your mesh system, yes. which I mean, exceeded demand. I can speak on behalf of a few of my colleagues at Span. Yeah. They were not ready for that demand, yeah, regardless yeah. of how much we knew about the product. Yeah. And uh, I remember there was something like the SG-1000, which was a kind of controller network mm -hmm. device. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering if you have plans to move into that field of 10 GBE mm -hmm. in a standalone environment. And of course, it would presumably be managed yeah. and have something like Synology Root Manager. Mm -hmm. So is, is there any plans for that going forward? I or? would say in the short term, there is no specific plan okay. at this moment. Uh, right now, on the networking part, we will uh, focus on enhancing the manage management mm. and the security features. So no specific plan so far for the 10 gig switch at this moment. But right. we'll continue to watch closely mm. on this market. Yeah. It, the, the, I mean, Synology Router Manager, I was doing a feature piece on it a while ago yeah. about coverage and the area that it covered, which is absolutely fantastic, but it was just that one little stumbling block for some users. Mm -hmm. So maybe time will tell. Maybe the, maybe in a year's time we'll exactly. come back here and then we'll, we'll see lots more stuff like that. Yeah. Um, um, another point, um, do you have any plans on a relative future towards mm -hmm. a 10 gigabit Ethernet um, enabled Intel based box, so, you know, a 64 bit x86? Because mm -hmm. at the moment, a lot of people feel the need to choose. Your previous iteration, mm -hmm. I believe, was the DS 1817. Yeah. So you had a couple of copper ports there. Mm -hmm. It was a great NAS. Mm -hmm. And I think it either had an Annapurna CPU or a Marvel. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure Annapurna. one of you will put it in the comments and tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> um, but is there any plans going forward for a 10 GBE at this station now? Yeah, uh, for most of the user at this moment, uh, from our perspective, uh, most of the user will be satisfied with mm -hmm. the one gig uh, uh, connections. And for those user, for most pros prosumer or advanced hardcore users, um, they can simply purchase an add-on card and put yeah, in the, the PCIe slot. So right now, um, at this moment, I just think that uh, it's not uh, um, a great moment to add additional cost for those most of the majority mm. users who don't need uh, the one gig connected, uh, ten gig connectivity. So I think a I think a lot of users who are watching this right now, if I had to read yeah. the minds of people right now, they would look at some solutions that have a PCIe slot, yeah. and because of the the what like the huge advantages to uh, M2 SSD slots. Yeah. It's that idea, they, they're looking at the M2D18 and they're yeah. thinking I've got one PCIe slot. Yeah. And although I can give up some of my storage base for 2.5 SATA, yeah, yeah, yeah. the idea of having both the internal improvements of the SSD cache and the external improvements mm -hmm. of their workload, 10 GBE. Yeah. But yeah, as you say, there are solutions that allow you to have both of them. Maybe in that DS3620 um, XS, if we ever see one, then then that might have that. I would say that come, come visit us again in the coming. Oh, I'm, uh, I in look the, forward to the end. In the 2020s, not 2020. I look forward to that. Yes. Because it sounds like I'm going to be missing out if I don't. <laughs> um, not better. Yeah. Um, but I guess f final question. Uh, um, again, just going, um, just a software related one. Yeah. And this is kind of uh, a blowout question that's happened recently. Mm -hmm. um, you've got great CMS systems built in. You've got Active Backup Suite. You've got the surveillance platform and things like Synology Moment for photo cataloging and Synology Drive for that easy one portal access. You've got all of these great tools, and Synology Chat and Calendar and Mail and these great ways in which we can have a NAS which can 
get, move, get us to move away from third-party cloud platforms like WhatsApp and Office 365 and, you know, or third-party cloud-only platforms mm -hmm. that will make us give our data away to data away to places we don't want it to be. Mm -hmm. So, is there any uh, plans on releasing a customer relationship manager, a CRM? Because mm -hmm. I know you support some third-party versions mm -hmm. on your app center, mm -hmm. but does Synology have any plans on moving into a customer relationship manager application in the near future? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we got that request a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, from time to time. And uh, right now, our main focus is mostly on office applications mm. for like uh, for small business or even enterprises. They are more like data-driven application. For example, Drive, mm. and for example, Chat or Calendar. That an employer or office that would that will constantly be engaged with their daily workflow. So, for example, we we're. If we are going to make a new application, it will definitely be something like, for example, for like password manager mm. or a, a meeting room booking system. Something like that mm. will be to increase the efficiency of the business workflow mm. in in terms of the CRM. For example, the CRM is more like uh, for your business to gain or, or maintain a relationship between you and your customers. So a little bit but more salesy. Yes, it's a more specific like focus sales, within sales business focus. rather than business yes, in general. Yes, exactly. So this is so you are going to see more and more uh, drive uh, enhanced feature in mm. Q4 this year, and you are going to see more and more integration between our applications. For example, Drive and Chat or for chat and calendar, something like that. Mm. We are going to build a more intensive uh, solution to our business mm. users. I saw a lot of the synchronization features you've uh, now got yes. the newer version of Drive. Yes. Um, yes. And some of the ways the things overlap beautifully, it's almost seamless. I'm doing another yes. feature piece when I get back. Um, uh, just regarding chat and mm -hmm. showing the average workflow side yes. by side with things like Skype yes. and a bunch of other applications and then yes. I'm going to run the exactly the same operation within mm -hmm. um, a DS1019 Plus. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I, I, I've Great. spent a lot of time with Drive uh, wow. just before coming here to Taipei. <laughs> so yeah, I know a lot of what you said went straight here. <laughs> but no, I think that's pretty much it for the questions. If you guys at home have any other questions that I've missed here, because I'll be honest, you send quite a lot of them, then do let us know in the comments. I'll be around in Taipei for quite a while and we'll hopefully get them answered for you. But otherwise, thank you so much for today, guys. Thank Seriously, you. Genuinely appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. I know you're off thank camera, you. but why not? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and do want to watch the the rest of the coverage here in Taipei, so we've got loads of Synology solutions coming up, then do watch the next video. There's a little click for the next video, but otherwise, cheerio. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.